Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Latifa looks pretty engaged today. I wonder what she's working on. Oh, look, she's examining her math homework, and she's noticed a pattern. And she's decided to experiment with multiplication to see if she's right. Now let's take a look at what she's discovered. Latifa noticed that sometimes, when she multiplied with fractions, the product was larger, and sometimes it was smaller. She decided to multiply a few different fractions by 8 to see what happens. And she set up the following table to organize her mathematical experiment. Okay, it looks like we have 5 fractions that we're multiplying by 8. 2 of the fractions are less than 1, 2 are greater than 1, and 1 of the numbers is 1 itself. For the first 2 fractions, which are less than 1, the final products are less than 8. The third number, 1, has a product of exactly 8. Well, that makes sense, since any number multiplied by 1 is itself. And moving on, the last two fractions that are greater than 1 have products greater than 8. Uh-huh. Can you spot the pattern that Latifa saw? Well, she discovered that when you multiply a whole number by a fraction that is less than 1, the product will also be less than that whole number. If you multiply a whole number by a fracture greater than 1, well, the product will be greater than that whole number. What a mighty math discovery! And Latifa's experimentation has inspired Will. He wants to look at numbers that are not whole numbers. And Will wants to know what happens when you multiply fractions together. Will the products be greater or smaller than the factors? Let's experiment, and here we go! Will has set up three different expressions for his experiment. One half multiplied by three fourths. This expression has fractions that are both less than one. The second expression has one fraction that is less than one and one fraction that is greater than one. And the third expression has two fractions that are both greater than one. Will predicts that the multiplication involving fractions less than one will create a product that is less than both factors. Now let's see if he's correct. The first expression, one half multiplied by three fourths, has a product of three eighths. Well, three eighths is less than one half, since four eighths is one half, and three eighths is also less than three fourths, since three fourths is greater than one half. And so it looks like when two fractions that are less than one are multiplied together, the product is smaller than both factors. Cool. The second expression was one fourth multiplied by two and one third. And we have one number that's less than one and one number that's greater than one. Now the product is seven twelfths, which is slightly more than one half because six twelfths is exactly one half. And so we see that it's greater than one fourth, but less than two and one third. So, if two numbers are multiplied and one factor is less than one, the product will be between the two factors. Awesome! And the last expression has two fractions that are both greater than one. Two and one half multiplied by three and one fifth, well, that's equal to eight. The product of eight is greater than both factors. So, if two numbers that are greater than one are multiplied together, then the product is greater than both factors. Stupendous! Multiplying fractions doesn't always make a product smaller. But fractions that are less than one do result in smaller products. Now let's sum up what you've just learned. A fraction less than one times a fraction less than one equals a product smaller than both factors. A fraction less than 1 times a fraction greater than 1 equals a product in between both factors. And finally, a fraction greater than 1 times a fraction greater than 1 equals a product greater than both factors. I love finding new math rules. Oh, look, there's a line at the copier. I wonder what's taking so long. Maybe we can help. Chen is trying to make an enlarged copy of a logo that he designed. 
but he isn't sure which button to push to make the copy larger. Now, should he press the button labeled one-third, one, or five halves? Well, Chen wants the picture to be larger. And if he uses the button labeled one-third, well, then the picture is going to get smaller, because one-third is less than one and will create a smaller product. The button that is labeled one will keep the image the same size. But what about five halves? Well, five halves is equal to two and one half, and that is a number that is greater than one. So his picture will be larger. All right, Chen, go ahead and press the five halves button. Nice. Ooh, still a line at the copier, though. I bet we could help Mia with her homework while we wait. Without doing any multiplication, mark the equations that are incorrect. All right. Well, we can check the reasonableness of the answers by thinking about the patterns that we just found out. Three-fifths is less than one, and so is five-sevenths. This means that the product should be smaller than both fractions. So her answer is one and two-thirty-fifths. Well, this can't be correct since it's greater than one and greater than both factors. So we're going to mark that one as incorrect. Next equation. Here we have two-thirds, which is less than one, and one and one-ninth, which is greater than one. And so this means that the product should be between the two factors. So the answer of one-third is less than both factors, and that means that this one must be incorrect. And in our last equation, both factors, five, and two and two-fifths are greater than one. So the product, 12, should be greater than both factors, and it is, so this answer is reasonable and could be correct. And it looks like Mia has to correct only two of her problems. Ooh, fantastic work today! We were able to look at multiplication of fractions and see how the factors can affect the product. Like when two fractions that are less than one are multiplied together, the product is smaller. We also learned that when working with fractions, if two numbers that are greater than one are multiplied together, the product is greater. See you in the next video, my mighty mathematicians!